Well, hello everybody. I'm back. I wanted to solve this problem here from the final exam study guide. Um, I think this is one of the one of the problems that should be one of your makes and not one of your misses. So I want to make sure I, I get you home on this one. Um, you need to need to score this one on the exam because it's one of the easier ones. Now, the instructions say multiply and simplify, and I notice we're we're multiplying two cube roots, and this is a property I'm going to use at first. I'm going to go from what I call a, ho a, house, a house separated or a house divided, uh, for me this looks like a little house, to a house united. Um, and of course this property works the other direction. You can go from a house united to doing some divorcing and go to a house uh, separated. Um, notice that the, in order to evoke this rule, the index has to be the same all the way across the board and the index is 3 here so we're good to go to a house united and so that's my first move and basically it just involves erasing this and making one big radical like this. Now at this point in time I've got the three laws of exponents up here because I'm going to evoke um, the first law. When you're multiplying and the bases are the same you can add the exponents and notice I'm multiplying and the base here is is a, a bit nasty it's x minus y to this and in this case, but you can add these exponents and so we get x minus y to the 2 plus 10 or x minus y to the 12th. Now at this point in time, well actually you could have taken a different start, uh, step at the very beginning. That's one of the things about these problems is that there's many different paths to solution. At this, this point in time though, um, I traditionally see uh, two, two techniques used. Um, the first one is what I call deconstructing, and a student will say, well look, we are looking for uh, triplets in here, or perfect cubes, so I'm going to deconstruct this into, into triplets, and they'll get something like this. And this is the way it's usually taught on chalkboards when it's introduced, the idea. And, and you know, so um, notice I've deconstructed into uh, four, f four groups with uh, exponents of three in each case. and so the third root will undo all these third powers. And I'm left with simply x minus y times x minus y times x minus y times x minus y, which we simplify by writing an exponential notation like that. And so deconstruction is certainly a legit way to solve this at this point in time, but if you're going on in math, you're definitely going to want to uh, fast track this a little bit more. And so that's part of what our course was about, was learning to write this in terms of fractional exponents, which and that was taught in an earlier um, couple of sections. And so we could rewrite this as x minus y to the twelfth power over three. And so we would have this. And now at this point in time, you should be itching to do that division. In all math courses, you never leave fractions hanging unsimplified. And so you would simplify this and you would get the same answer. Twelve divided by three is four. And so you see we, we've fast-tracked from deconstruction to fractional exponents. And I'm going to even go one more, leave you with an idea that you might think about going forward and play with a little bit. And that is, um, notice the three laws of exponents. Um, one involves addition, one involves subtraction, you know, when you subtract the exponents, and one involves when you multiply the exponents. What's missing here is the case when you divide exponents. And I'm going to su suggest to you to make this thing whole, that there really should be a fourth law of exponents. And that this is the case where you divide. Now, this almost looks like a division, long, like it's set up for long division. 3 goes into 12 how many times? And the answer is 4 with no remainder. And so there's nothing left beneath the radical because there's no remainder. And there's the 4, and there's no remainder. So th that brings us full circle. It fills out the, the exponents and creates a complete cycle. And I thought I'd just work one more for you uh, to show that, just so um, you could play with this as you move on in math. Notice I have nearly the same problem, except this is now a 10 instead of a 2. And again, I go to a house united, and again, I add the exponents to get this. And so at this point in time, um, this problem is going to create a remainder, because 3 does not go into 20 evenly. And so I, I set it up like long division, you know, and again, doesn't this even look like long division? And uh, notice too, I've written in my fourth law here. This is the case when we divide. 3 goes into 20, um, well, 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18. 
draw the line, subtract to get 2. So 3 goes into 20, a 6 remain or 2. And notice the answer down here. There's the 6, and the remainder gets left behind in the, uh, beneath the radical. And so uh, that's a, uh, there's, a, there's a deconstruction method, and there's, then there's a fast track method that I showed you, which was um, writing in fractional exponents, and then this really super fast track method of the fourth law, doing division. And um, pay attention to that as you go on to college algebra. It will definitely uh, simplify things dramatically for you. Okay, I hope that helps, and good luck on the exam.